Etching your own printed circuit board is easy to do and lets you speed through your prototyping without having to wait for new boards to come from the fab house after every revision. Start out with a piece of copper clad FR4. You can order this from hundreds of sources online and it only costs a few bucks for a piece this size. Wipe down the copper clad with some alcohol to remove any oils and other gunk that might stop the etch mask from sticking. Now with a laser printer, print your design on a piece of transfer paper. This paper can be found on Amazon or eBay, just about anywhere. You can export your own designs using Eagle's CAM processor and then print them from a Gerber viewing program like ViewMate. This is a design I found on the internet called Nanino. It's an open source, single-sided Arduino designed by Johan von Kanau to be easy for hobbyists to build themselves. The transfer paper relies on heat and pressure to transfer the toner onto your board. You can use a household iron, but if you have access to a laminator, it's inexpensive and it works really well. No matter how careful you are, there'll probably be a few imperfections in the transfer. You can use a permanent marker to fill in any gaps. I'm signing this board to show how well the permanent marker works to resist etching. Now we just toss it into the etch bath. I'm using ferric chloride, which is my etching of choice, but you can get away with using a mixture of muriatic acid and hydrogen peroxide. I've even heard of using vinegar, salt, and hydrogen peroxide. Ferric chloride is fast and easy though, and it's readily available online. I think I paid less than 20 US dollars for a liter of it on Amazon, and you can use it over and over before it's saturated. It is poisonous, but it's not gonna hurt you if you wear gloves and don't drink it. Keep the etch bath moving so that the reaction products don't settle on the board and slow down the etch. The etchant will remove any copper that isn't covered by your mask, but remove your board as soon as no more copper is visible because the solution will get in under the mask from the side and over etch. Rinse the board in water to get rid of excess etchant and use a dab of acetone or fingernail polish remover to wipe off the mask and reveal your beautiful copper traces. Drill holes to mount all of your components and solder everything in place. Be careful when you're soldering because there's no solder mask to prevent solder from flowing up the traces. Congratulations, you've just etched a PCB all your own. Now go and make something awesome with it.